Hi, today is another um, favorites video of things I found on YouTube over my first year of being a YouTube maker. And um, today I'm going to talk about brows um, and some of the things I've learned from YouTube and some of the things I've learned from other places and I will tell you when it's a different place. Um, I've been um, trying to grow my brows out thicker for the past year. Um, first thing is I was watching Kathy Lee and Hoda. I watch them every night. I TiVo it during the morning. I'm always busy, so I don't sit down and watch it. And then at night, I'll watch it. I'll fast forward through what I don't want to watch. And it's just, I love it. I, I think it's just a fun show. And one thing I really like about it, just to give it a little plug, is when they show clothes or, or um, shoes or, or uh, hairstyles or makeup, they don't always show real expensive and they don't always show it for, you know, the 20 and 30 year olds. They kind of do a range in everything they do. And maybe that's because the hosts are a little bit older. I don't know, but um, I really, really like that about their show. They seem to be really well rounded. Well, one day I was watching it, and they had this brow expert on. Now, she was um, from New York, and then they talked about that she was the East Coast brow specialist, and then Anastasia, I'm sure you've seen her stuff in Sephora, is the West Coast brow specialist. Now, I don't know if that's true, and I don't remember this woman's name to save my soul, but I loved some of the things that she talked about. One of the things she talked about, they were talking about um, as you get older and your brows are thinning, maybe, then it getting thinner. And Kathy Lee made the comment, well, my eyelashes got thinner, and I use Latisse, and it works really good. And she's talked about that many times. And the woman said, no, 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 I'm not talking about using anything on your brows. I'm just talking about a brow regrowth program. And I'm like, what the heck is that? Well, then she explained, don't touch your brows for months. Just ignore them. Don't touch them with any tweezers or anything. And just let them go. Even if you don't think they look that great, you have to go through that to get to the point that you want. And I also heard that from, oh gosh, Lisa Eldridge talked about, she's a YouTuber, very popular. She also talks about brows a lot and she's way against tweezing a whole lot on your brows and just leaving them super natural is what she says to do. So anyway, another tip that the woman gave on Kathy Lee and Hoda was um, don't touch them. And the second thing was when you put your moisturizer on, don't just smear it on your face. You know, we're careful with our eye, but then the rest you just might kind of haphazardly put it on your face because we're always in a hurry, right? And she says, don't get it in your brow area or it can clog the pores, the hair follicles, and they won't grow if you're every single morning and night putting moisturizer just right there. I never thought of that, so now I avoid that area. So, um, now, what are my favorite brow products? That was my trick or tip. To, to grow them, grow them, grow them. Okay, what are my favorite brow products? I always like to have one of these. I think they're called, look, I'm just like those really fancy uh, beauty gurus. See, I'm showing it with my hand. It's a spoolie, and you just, they're just to put your eyebrows in place or whatever. Now, two eyebrow pencils that I really like. This is the first one. It's Brow Fantasy. It's by O Revlon. You've seen it. The only thing I don't like about this one is this side I like, the pencil side, but I cannot stand this stuff. It's, to me, it dries and it just dries hard and chunky and gross. Can't stand that. So I feel like when I buy this, you know, I hate it that I'm paying for a product that I'm never using. I wish they sold this separately. And I think I've told you all that before. Second brow pencil that I really like is Jordan, Jordana or Jordana. This is it. <laughs> I mean, it's really long, like a pencil when you get it, but I've, I'm to the end of it, and it has a little brush on the end. I love this too. Now, um, it's just a brow pencil. Um, this is the first thing I bought backups of because there was something else. Oh, it, there was a coal liner, eyeliner that I really use that they made, and the next time I went to get another one, gone. So I learned my lesson, so I bought three of these. I may buy more. Another little tip is buy the pencils lighter than you think you need. That's just a tip because if I brought dark brown, which my hair is dark brown, 
it would be way darker than this, which is pretty dark. So what I do is I take these and I just kind of fill in the top line, okay? Then this is my favorite, one of my favorite finds of YouTube, period, in the last year. It's the Sally Hansen Brow Powder, 99 cents. I use, um, it's brunette, but I can only use this really light looking side. If you can see, I use the light one. This one's way too dark, so I use the light one. I've thought about buying the blonde, but it looks really light. But you know what? This is like blonde. This one's like a taupe or a blonde. This one is a light one too, so don't be deceived. But for 99 cents, buy both of them and get what you want because they're very cheap. But I love this stuff. Another trick that the woman on Kathy Lee and Hoda showed. Okay, this has just this little tiny brush, which I have to say works pretty well. And you do it like this, and then you just lightly brush it on. After you've kind of, you know, filled in the top, you lightly brush this on. It stays all day. I love it. But one thing that that woman did when she was filling in some really sparse brows on these women is she would do it, and she would start a little bit before and bring it in a little bit further and even though there was no I'm not going to do it but even though there was no hair she would go out a little further and of course come down a little further and I mean I started doing that and I really really like it so this is a great great find this is something I need to go buy backups of because you know what if they stop making them I will be so devastated okay so that's two tips okay third thing I do and this doesn't take long at all Third thing I do, and this is going to sound weird, because I have not been able to find, like I've tried clear mascara and I've tried, you know, the opposite side of this, told you I didn't like it. I have this Soft Lips um, Lip Balm. It's, it's real thin. It's nice. I love it. But when I discovered the pomegranate Burt's Bees, this, I quit using it. Do you know what I do with it? It's very light, as in light consistency. I just go shh, shh, very light, and that puts my brows in place for the day. It's kind of moisturizing. It doesn't mess with anything. When you use a brush, to me, to me, like this, and you do it after you've got your powder and everything on like you like it, it messes it up. I don't, this liquid messes it up. This, if you use a very, very light hand, just barely, or put it on your fingers and just barely do it. I like it. It works great. I think it's a great thing. Now, the only other thing that I sometimes do when I'm going out to dinner and I want to be dramatic, please. Um, I saw this on another girl's video, and I don't remember her name either, but she's real popular. I don't know. She'll take like a concealer, like a light concealer. I don't have one here, but this is a powder, but and she just kind of puts it right above um, the brow and I can't do it because I'm doing this backwards and I don't have a mirror um, just right above kind of like you're doing highlight right below and just very lightly and it just kind of defines the brows in a cool way if you do it super super lightly and don't use a heavy hand so I believe that's all the brow things that I learned this year on YouTube, I, I think they're great. Um, that's it. I will be back with another, I think I'll do eyes next or actually just makeup. So talk to you later. Bye.